Welcome to the Pump Fund Developer Series, the ultimate guide to dominating the meme token space. If you ever dreamed of creating Pump Fund tokens that not only make waves, but also generate profits the right way, you're in the right place. Now, this series is designed to equip you with the tools, strategies, and insider knowledge to thrive in one of the most fast paced corners of crypto. This isn't about playing small or following the crowd. This is about getting ahead, staying ahead and outsmarting the ruggers and bots that plague the space. Together, we'll learn how to build, launch and grow projects that not only succeed, but set the standard for what's possible. So whether you're here to launch the next viral token or simply want to understand the mechanics of the game, this series will give you the edge you need. But before we dive in, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and click the bell notification. You'll want to stay updated because the strategies we're covering are designed to put you leagues ahead of the competition. Let's get started. Now, when it comes to launching tokens successfully, speed is everything. But there's more to it than just having a fast internet connection. Let's break it down step by step. First, you need to know how your setup influences your performance. If your connection isn't optimized, you'll face delays that can cost you valuable opportunities. Let's talk about the basics. If you're using a local setup, your home computer connected via Ethernet, for instance, you might think your speed is sufficient. Perhaps you're getting 900 megabits per second down and 450 up. That sounds impressive, right? But in the world of crypto and rapid transactions is often not enough. Why? Because latency, not just speed, plays a crucial role. And here's where virtual private servers or VPS come into play. A VPS can dramatically reduce latency by positioning your setup closer to the node provider, sometimes even in the same physical location. So imagine this. Instead of your local connection traveling thousands of miles to a node in another country, a VPS hardwired to the node can deliver speeds like 2000 megabits per second up and down with near zero latency. That's the kind of edge you need in this game. Now let's talk about RPCs or remote procedure calls. In simple terms, an RPC is the connection that allows your tools like dog with tools, for example, to communicate with the blockchain. So think of it as a direct line to execute transactions. The faster and more efficient your RPC, the quicker you can process transactions like buys, sells, or deploys. However, not all RPCs are created equal. Some may differ and offer high speeds, but limited transaction capacity, while others provide scalability at the cost of latency. So choosing the right RPC for your setup is crucial. And I'll guide you through making that decision as we progress. But speed isn't the only factor. Another critical element is your node provider. Many people opt for basic packages that offer limited capacity, often without realizing it. For example, some nodes might cap transaction rates at just a few operations per second. While that might work for smaller scale projects, it becomes a significant limitation as you scale up. Advanced setups can handle hundreds of transactions per second, giving you a clear edge in the market. Now, before you start thinking you need to invest heavily right away, let me assure you that there are ways to succeed even with a more modest setup. And again, tools like Dog with Tools are designed to work in a various environments. And in this series, I'll show you methods that allow you to maximize efficiency, even if you're not operating the fastest VPS or RPC. The key is understanding the limitations of your setup and working around them strategically. One way to do this is by running benchmark tests. These tests give you a clear picture of how your system performs under real conditions. For example, they can help you identify how quickly your node processes transactions and where bottlenecks might occur. It's an essential step that can save you both time and money. Understanding your setup is crucial, but so is knowing your competition. In this space, it's essentially player versus player. The tools and strategies you 
can use can make the difference between success and failure. For instance, some competitors are operating with premium nodes that process hundreds of transactions per second. Knowing this gives you perspective on what's possible and where you might need to invest in the future. Now let's put all of this into context. If you're just starting, you don't need to have the fastest setup in the world to see results. With the right strategies and tools, even a modest system can yield significant gains. What's important is understanding where you stand and what steps you can take to improve over time. In the next episode, we're taking things up a notch. We'll be driving into the must use settings for maximum impact the configurations that lay the groundwork for your success. So whether it's understanding volume, bundling strategies or fine tuning your setup for visibility, this is where it all starts. These settings aren't just technical. They directly influence how effective your project can be. So make sure you're subscribed and have the notifications on. So you're ready when the episode drops. If you found today's session helpful, give it a like, drop a comment and share it with others who'd benefit. And hey, if you're serious about kicking off your projects with the best bundling solution, the link below is your gateway to getting started. I'll even help you get up and running smoothly so you're fully ready to launch like a pro. Next time, we'll be unlocking the secrets to optimizing your setup and how to use these tools to create momentum that actually lasts. Don't miss it.